everyone welcome back it's been another week i have a good week did you have a good week did you get enough rest did you drink enough fluids i just want you to know that somebody cares and that somebody's me I, that's probably obvious i am back with another super professional writing video like the writing crew that i am or pretend to be on the tv I am trying something a little different today because I think you've noticed, if you've been watching the last videos, which of course you have, um, I get a terrible glare in my glasses, so I'm trying the video without them today, which means I can't see a darn thing. I have my script, and I have to hold it here. It's pretty close. I have to hold it here in order to read it. My eyes are terrible. But hopefully this solves the lighting problem. We'll see. Okay, so to get right into the professional writing video. There is a common writing question that I see asked all the time on the social medias. What genre do you write in? And I never know how to answer that question personally. I kind of just bounce around and write whatever comes to mind. And then when I do write it, I don't know what genre it is. Um, so maybe I'm not alone. Maybe I am. I don't know. Uh, but also to flip that on its head, what if you want to write in a certain genre, but you don't know how to start? And that is the question I am hoping to answer today. So what differentiates genre from genre? I, there are probably a lot of things, right? There's the setting, the mood, the character names, the character choices, the way the story progresses. There's your writing style could influence the type of story you end up writing. But I'm not doing a deep dive here. This is just a quick and dirty way to jump in. Progression from there is up to you. The entire journey is your journey to take and nobody else can take it for you. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to jump in, as I said, to this unfamiliar story pool what does this story pool consist of? Words! I am not good at metaphors. I mean, yeah, a story consists of words. I, well, you never guess that. But, I mean, words that are specific to a type of genre and don't often cross from genre to genre. So let's jump right in. I love saying that. I've said that in a lot of videos so far, I think. Fantasy words. How do you manage to write fantasy when you have not been able to finish The Hobbit and you have met neither dungeon nor dragon? Simple. You choose from the following list of words. Journey or quest. Cloak. Staff. Conjure. Enchantment. Prophecy, Axe, Bewitch, Barbarian, Cauldron, Chamber, Combat, Illusion, Necromancy, Summoning, Destiny, Feast, Forest, Hermit, Honor, Kingdom, Lair, Hunter, Lore, Oracle, Mighty, Portal, Mischief, Riddles, Passage, Stone, Valor, Trapdoor, Vision, Wisdom. There are a lot of other words in these to be certain. I'm going to try and remember to put links down below to some sites that have long, long comprehensive lists. These are the ones that just struck me as being in a lot of fantasy books, at least the standard ones. Check it out for yourself next time you read one and see if I'm right. Now, it's not only the words as they exist. You can make pretty much anything into a fantasy word if you add the following prefixes. Magi or magi, thaum, astro, al or ala, arch, main, blade, chrono, Dream, dawn, day, that's day a y or day a e, ever, never, bay, frost, flame, hex, hypno, hydra, infer, kin, cow, letho, luna, mala, misty, necrol, not, 
nether, nexo, over, under, outer, inner, fanta, penum, rume, umbra, veli, vexi, zero, xanthi, your, yonder, and zephyr. Suffixes include mancy, morph, urgy, asian, shift, ogical, esse, mount, spawn, jur, ichor, ist, and of course, smith, weaver, scribe, man, maiden, being, and beast. And of course, you can make a whole new term by mashing two words together, like beast, wisdom. I might have to work on this. Science fiction. Everyone knows there's some crossover between this and fantasy. Fantasy is based on old-timey stuff with dragons added. And sci-fi is based on the present with visions of the future and space dragons. Not all sci-fi is about space, though, and a lot of the terms used are real terms. So, let's give this a go. Cyborg. Android. Cloning. Dark matter. Antimatter. Death Ray. Deus Ex Machina. Of course, there was that popular movie, but it's a common thing in sci-fi. Not just a storytelling device, but one within the story. Dystopia. Event Horizon. Hyperspace. Flight deck, force field, fractal, inorganic, intelligence, interstellar, jump point, cloaking, also used in fantasy but possibly a little more popular for sci-fi because of Star Trek and all that, M-class, disruptor, engine, laser, orbital, replicant, mind, molecular, lunar, mutation, technology, Neural, Omega, Photon, Quantum, Distortion, Time, and yes, Warp. As for making up terms, sci-fi is rife with these. Popular prefixes include <gasps> Deep Breath, Anti, Bio, Cryo, Cyber, Dark, Data, Decentralized, Dimension, Digital, Electro, Energy, exo, extra, force, geo, gravity, hollow, hyper, interkinetic, light, mega, micro, nano, neuro, neutron, omni, organic, planetary, post, ray, retro, robotic, smart, solar, tele, terra, Virtual, ultra, and the ever popular space. Suffixes, when one forget about suffixes, suffixes include tron, tor, it, eum, oid, iser, matrix, and any Phineas and Ferb knows innator, fusion, and ion. Also, there can be many kinds of particles, ships, Space itself, so on and forevermore. Mystery terms. I love a good mystery, and of course any good detective show has its own vocabulary. Consisting of alibi, suspect, puzzle, intrigue, clue, riddle, unresolved, murky, conundrum, fascinates, hunch, plot. Investigate, reflex, sleuth, improbable, uncover, baffle, elusive, tantalize, strange, plod, revolve, stranger, accuse, obsess, game, culprit, serial, secret, heist, curse, speculate, question, unfold. Confusion, conjecture, quandary, and curious.
there's not so many prefixes or suffixes that I could figure out because we're getting into the kind of story that wants to pretend it's in the realm of reality. But some prefixes include, there's the obvious deduct, investi, foren, magni, con, evi, for, intero, mis, misti, perp, sine, spec, testi, un, and of course, sus. Some suffixes you can use are ones like print, agate, sick, tiv, ness, and the ever popular shun. Question. Romance words. Oh uh, gosh, here we go. I am not the lovey dovey sort at all, but I promise I will try to not fake barf my way through this. That's the kind of thing I do for my viewers. And I'm not doing bodice rippers either. That is a category all its own when it comes to words, and I try to keep this as PG as is possible. So, some romance type words. Life. Dream. One. Only. Doubt. Belong. Heart. Soul. Forever. Starting to sound a little obsessive, honestly. Lie. Stars. Arranged. Convenience. Chance. Secret. Annoying. Slow. Modest. Attraction. Spill. That sounds weird, but think about it. You accidentally spill your coffee on the handsome stranger. It happens a lot, I am told. Small town. Accidental. Coincidence. Meeting. Kind. Universe. Appeal. Perception. Softness. Fate. Squirm. Possess. Peak. Swept. Dangerous. Daring. Impulse, demurred, vivid, wistful, sob, fervor, miracle, fascinate, and yearn. That is enough romance for me. And I'm not getting into prefixes or suffixes at all, mostly because most of what I was finding was too much for my YouTube viewers' tender ears. I'm sorry I don't have more genres here, but there wasn't time to cover every one, so maybe I'll make a sequel? Anyway, this is enough to get started, right? There's absolutely nothing else you need to write these types of stories. Nothing at all. Seriously, though, if you want to write a story, maybe the best thing to do is to just write it? I know, I know, I know, anything but that. Say it ain't so. But hey, it's not the worst thing ever. That would be the synopsis that comes when you're done writing the story. Speaking of being done, we are done with this video. Please check out the links I have hopefully remembered to put in the description, if not pester me until I do that. Please do mention any words that I may have forgotten, any words that are your personal favorites, and I'll see you next week. Space goodbye! They exist. You can make pretty much anything to a fantasy word if you add the following prefixes. Prefixes? Prefixes? What the heck is a prefix? You can make noise now, dog. I'm done. Anything? It's asleep. <laughs>